Today we're going to compare the regular Huawei Mate 20 versus the Oppo Reno 2. The Huawei got like three cameras on the back whereas on the Oppo it got four but since the Huawei came out like over a year ago, let's see if it can still keep up against something that's kind of new. So this is a quick low light test of the front facing camera and the main source lighting my face right now is just these buildings, these street lights, and these little uh, Christmas lights on these trees. So let's move on to the next section. Alright, as you know, we're going to start off with portrait mode and from my experience, I would prefer it on the Huawei. The biggest difference from the experience is basically when I'm pointing something with the Mate 20, it usually works. On the Oppo, I would have to move around until the screen says it's ready or I can see the effect. On some of these pictures, you can tell that I'm kind of far away from some of these objects and on the Oppo, it tells me that I need to get closer or it just doesn't recognize it. Whereas on the Mate 20, it has a chance of working and if it doesn't, I can always use a telephoto lens to get more of a reach. At that point, mostly it will work. Another difference is that the front facing camera does have better HDR than the Oppo. But for day to day use, the portrait mode or aperture mode on the Mate 20 does have a better or more easier experience than the Oppo Reno 2. The only con I could think about on the Mate 20 is that the slight color change when you switch to telephoto lens. And both phones can do macro shots using their ultra wide angle lens as well. Now for using the regular cameras on the back, I would say the Mate 20 can actually still keep up. Even though it is older, I wouldn't say it's time to throw it away and get a new camera. The Oppo Reno 2 is a great camera for a mid-tier price. The HDR is a bit better since I can see more in the shadows and I do like the colors more because it's more neutral and more natural looking. And if you do like zooming into your pictures, the Oppo Reno 2 does have a cleaner look than the Mate 20. I think where the Oppo Reno 2 outshines the Mate 20 the most is during low light. I think you can just see more detail and more of your image on the Oppo with a better HDR. The Mate 20 does come up with more contrasty pictures so it does tend to look more dramatic. So the overall quality is not like a huge jump difference for me. I do like the Oppo a bit better but that's just more personal preference. In terms of the camera UI, the Oppo is a bit more easy to use and is more simple. The Mate 20 has a lot of camera modes so if you do like more options then go with that. Now moving on to my night mode experience, both are really easy to use. I do like Huawei's countdown features so I can easily see how long I'm holding it for, whereas on the Oppo, it kind of bursts and then it loads right after. In terms of really low light photography, the Oppo does come out cleaner. On the Mate 20, I can see that it's really muddy. After night mode, it does clean it up a bit, but overall, I would prefer the images on the Oppo. Now moving on to 4K video, they can both do 4K 30 max. And for stabilization, the Oppo does do it better. I can still see more handshakes or more of a jerky movement on the Mate 20. For the HDR department, the Oppo wins here. As you can tell looking at that building, I can still see the individual lines and details, whereas on the Mate 20, it's, the highlights are pretty much clipped. Now this may be a bummer for some people, but if you do plan on shooting with the ultra wide angle lens, then the Oppo can only shoot up to 1080p. The good thing is the stabilization is still way better and for the most part during daylight, I would say it has the same characteristics as the main camera. For low light video, they are pretty identical to each other in terms of micro jitters. But overall, the low light video is not that great. I would say the stabilization is still better on the Oppo, but apparently the Mate 20's images seem to be a bit brighter. I will say the biggest con on the Mate 20 video side is if you point it at a light source, it does have these weird flares. Now moving on to the ultra wide angle lens, it's a clear winner the Oppo Reno 2 got this down. On the Mate 20, it's pretty laggy or it just looks like it has really slow shutter speed. I did try out the ultra steady mode on the Oppo which is only shooting up to 1080p60 which I also matched on the Mate 20 and it looks way cleaner. So I would highly suggest this mode if you are shooting in low light situations. On the Mate 20, I would just forget it. I know it's not 4K, but I would rather have clean looking footage than a really crappy 4K footage. So the Mate 20 can still hold up on its own. The Oppo is better, but I wouldn't say it's miles better. So for personal preference, I do like the Oppo's images, but I just like the experience on the Huawei in terms of the aperture mode. So let me hear which one you guys think is better. Please follow me on Instagram, give a like, subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.